Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today I'm participating in a Everything Farmhouse collaboration and we're making some cute little farmhouse projects. So we, our host, hosts are um, Lady Red Crafting, Our Gray House, and our guest host is Indiana Jones. I will leave each of their links in the description box along with the playlist uh, link so that you can go watch all of the creators. Um, we've got a, you know, a pretty decent group of very talented creators that um, like to do the farmhouse thing. So I'm working with, um, as you saw, a little mini basket there, a an old cheese grater and a little mini uh, milk can and some rub-on transfers and some air dry clay. So I started out with um, dry brushing my basket with uh, Waverly white chalk paint. Sorry, words are just totally leaving me today. I, and so I get that all um, dry brushed all the way around, put a decent coat over it, just kind of make it look more weathered, more farmhousey. Um, you know the routine. If you follow farmhouse uh, crafting or do farmhouse crafting, then you know we like to uh, dry brush and distress everything. So I've got some of these really cute Highland Cow um, rub-on transfers. Are those not just adorable? I'm so in love with the Highland Cows. I really am. It's, it, you know, yeah. If I could have, if I could fit one in my house, I would have one. But I can't fit one in my house. I live in a tiny house, so that's a totally unrealistic thing. And I live somewhere where I can't have farm animals, so to speak. I got away with my pig because she was mostly indoors. Um, I'd take her out, put her on, you know, where she could graze and, and whatnot. Um, but she was mostly a house pig, so I didn't have too much issue with it. Nobody gave me any grief. So anyway, I decided I had seen somebody else use rub-on transfers um, another creator, and I don't remember who it was at this point. Um, I'd seen them use rub-on transfers on baskets before. So I thought, oh, hey, I could do this. Yeah, okay. Um, not this particular basket. I did manage to pull it off, but it was a lot of work. Um, I had a lot of finagling to do to get it to stick. So um, if you recreate this, don't put a rub-on transfer on the front, but I was unwilling to waste the rub-on transfer that I had there. <clears throat> so I took and I've got some lavender and then these little yellow flowers. Um, the yellow ones came from Sola Wood Flowers and when I purchased them, I expected something totally different than what I got. These are more plastic than anything, um, but they work out in this um, this particular arrangement. So they're cute flowers. It's just for me, I just have this this thing about plastic flowers. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I guess probably because I was born in the '70s and and we had a whole lot of um, cheap plastic flower things in the 70s. Anyway, if you like what uh, the content that we're putting out, please, um, I invite you to like, subscribe, comment, share. When you hit that subscribe button, if you use the hit the little notification bell, you can choose how you want uh, how often you want to be notified when I upload new content. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. Uh, for continuing to support my channel. If you are new here or coming from the playlist, then, um, you know, I appreciate your, your 
popping in and watching and if you <clears throat> pardon me if you like what you see then please hit that subscribe button um, any of my subscribers as you go through the playlist uh, let them know that I sent you over there um, comment on their videos and let them know that you came from my video that I sent you that way to watch theirs so <clears throat> This is, you know, this is a really, it's a fairly simple project. The hardest thing about this particular project was getting that rub-on transfer on the front of the basket. Um, so, if you wanted to recreate something like this, it would be very easy to do if you found, you know, just the right little basket and everything. This one I got from, um, I was given a huge huge stash of craft supplies um my friend joy's stepmother uh ended up having to be put in um in a care facility so they needed to get rid of all the excess clutter and whatnot and joy doesn't craft so she said come get it <laughs> i was like i'm on my way um i still have a few loads to pick up but anyway um, I thought I was going to try to put some of these little lemon things in, um, in there and changed my mind. I thought the yellow flowers were fine and I saved the, the little lemons on a stick, <laughs> so to speak. Um, I saved those for a one of the other projects here. Um, that I do in this one. So now on to DIY number two. This is, um, I'm, this is where I'm actually making the little lemons out of the clay. I totally had this all lined up in the wrong order. So it is what it is. Um, I just took and, and kind of rolled it into a semi roundish oblong shape and tapered the ends of it a little bit because you know lemons have like those little nubby looking things at the end so that's what i did here and i made i don't know i made maybe five six of them i don't remember and then i um while the clay was still um malleable i used these skewers and put them in there because I want, I knew that I wanted to, with these anyway, I knew that I wanted to have them sticking up out of an arrangement. So I just took the pointy end of the skewer because um, it's the smallest end and stuck them in there. And then I painted, um, painted each of them with the apple barrel bright yellow. And I thought I'd cut this out. I thought I only showed me putting the sticks in a couple of them. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, after I painted them the, the lemons yellow, I took and painted part of the, the skewer with a watered down green so that it would blend into the greenery when I put it in um, the different arrangements. Hopefully I didn't show me painting each and every lemon. I probably did. Go figure. <laughs> As it is, I had to rearrange stuff on here. Um, I loaded it up in here and then had to shift stuff around. So anyway, while I'm painting, I'd like to invite you to also follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and we also have our own social, um, craft social uh, page on our website. Um, and I'll leave all those links in the description box as well. See here, I just watered down some of the green and then painted it on and wiped it off where it looked more like a stain. So here, I got these 
rub-on transfers. Um, all of the rub-on transfers that I used today, or that I showed you, I got from Amazon, and I will try to remember to leave the links for those in the description box, too. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. It, I didn't even hesitate when I saw them as I was scrolling through Amazon looking at rub-on transfers. I was like, oh, gotta have them. Um, now, if you get these, let me give you a, a fair warning. And thankfully, I had watched um, Brenda from Rustic and Lace use some of these and had the warning ahead of time. These are really, really sticky. The transfer sheets, everything are really, really sticky on these. So just beware um, of that if you do purchase these and decide to use them. Here I'm trying to make up my mind. There were several on each of those pages. So I was like, Ooh, I like that and I like that. So I had to make up my mind which one I was going to use on the milk can. And I use a, um, I don't use any more than that in this collaboration. I've got another one coming tomorrow. Um, the what would you make uh, challenge or collaboration. Anyway, I've got that one coming out tomorrow and that I used more of these um, lavender and lemon on that. Um, I've got another craft your stash video uh, collab next week, next weekend. And I'll probably be using more of these on that one too. But anyway, um, see, you can see I'm, I'm really struggling to pull that carrier sheet up. I had to stop and kind of, one thing with rub-on transfers, um, you take and you burnish them and s remove the carrier sheet slowly so you can see if it picks up any of the transfer. If it does, you can lay it back down and burnish it some more and not mess up your transfer as long as you go slow with removing that, which with the really sticky stuff, sometimes that one's, that's hard to do. So I had taken, put some uh, little piece of floral foam inside my little can there. And this one's really simple too. I just took in and cut up one piece of that lavender and that lavender came from solar wood flowers as well. Um, I just, for the smaller stuff, I like like the little fine little lavender like this versus the bigger ones that I had in the in one of the other projects that I did. So, and then just a little bit of the, the little baby's breath stuff in there. And, and then I put um, some of those little lemons in there sticking out. And I didn't realize it until after I'd already took my phone out of the holder and everything. I hadn't put the um, the moss in here to cover up the floral foam. I did that off camera, but I do tuck some moss in there to kind of cover up where you can't see that floral foam. And here we have it, as cute as can be, simple and cute. We're on to DIY number three. So this one, I'm using a really old cheese grater and my, I, I'm doing a floral arrangement in the what would normally be the bottom side of it. And my intent was with the bigger holes on the back to use that side with one of those uh, greater holes to hang it with. So, um, and you'll see here shortly the, the kind of funny boo-boo I made doing this. <laughs> I had to go back and fix it. No biggie. It got fixed. It's all good. So I've got some of these little um, purple and white flowers from the Dollar Tree and I don't remember what they're called. Um, you saw me writing something. I hadn't, <clears throat> I hadn't had a chance to scan 
all of this into my inventory yet so I knew I was using all three sprigs of the the floral off of that one so I wrote on there what it um, what it was and how many sprigs it had on it um, because I never or very rarely do I use the entire floral you know pick that I get in one project I usually cut off little sprigs here and there so when I enter it into the inventory I make sure that I include on there how many how many little sprigs are on there so that I can calculate properly my cost for making any of my projects and that was probably more information than you wanted to know any of you that are serious about crafting have a business and whatnot um where you keep track of your inventory and and all of that um i use um a an excel spreadsheet that i got from paper and spark um they are created those are all created for um for makers and etsy sellers and whatnot and then i use a scan it to office app on my phone for actually scanning the stuff in that way I can take a picture of it now you see here I figured out what I did wrong I had intended for the bigger holes to be on the back well I started putting the flowers in the wrong way so I had to pull them out and shift it around so that the taller ones were in the back some days I don't know some days my brain does not function on uh, full capacity there most days it does but if I've had a, a particularly difficult day at work my brain's not always uh, <laughs> my brain's like nope I want to shut down now you exercise me too much through the work day so here we have our we're at the final reveal and um, we've got all of these in here, each of our little projects and whatnot. And you can see um, the cheese grater, I turned it into a hanging decorative towel holder. So I will keep, I, once I get them posted on my website, I'll put the links in here. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.